I'm Suzanne Harmony, and I'm coming to you from the beautiful setting of my Wisdom Wheels. And it's a wonderful Wednesday here at Wisdom Wheels. And I am coming to you with the energy of, huh, I want to call it a healthy ego. And as I was driving here, I was really grateful for a healthy ego because that inspired me today to dress well, to put on some makeup, um, fix my hair, even put on some jewelry. And that's what a healthy ego is. It also inspired me to present myself to you this way and to speak to you about the benefits of a healthy ego. You know, so many people kind of poo poo <laughs> all over ego. But ego also inspires people to do well. And ego inspires us to reach goals and to attain them. Also, I think a healthy ego inspires people to share that enthusiasm, to share their ideas, to share their enthusiasm with others so that they too can grow. And that's what's exciting about a healthy ego. It helps us to grow. It helps us to become better people. It helps us to get out of bed excited in the morning. And sometimes we don't get out of bed excited, but for some reason our healthy ego kicks in. So whatever it is for you that gets you excited, be thankful also for your healthy ego. And it might come from your decision to that morning go for that walk or drink that healthy juice, uh, drink more water even, or be more loving, even just to yourself. Uh, write out your gratitudes. Be thankful. Be thankful for getting up this morning, breathing that fresh air, looking at the sunshine. Even on a rainy day, there's sunshine. If there's daylight, that's sunshine. <laughs> and so I wanted to share that healthy ego with you. As you can see, I'm also wearing orange today. It's September 30th and it's orange shirt day. And that brings a little bit of hmm, heartwarming thoughts to me as we honor our indigenous people. And today on September 30th, years ago, little children were being picked up in buses and trucks and in vehicles to be bust to mission schools. And so perhaps the idea of bringing these children to mission schools to be educated came from a healthy ego. <sighs> but this is a reminder to check your ego because a good thing went really, really bad. And the orange shirt comes from Phyllis Jack's story, which I just read and I thought it was very touching. And I think everybody should read it so you have a better understanding of the idea of every child matters and every child does matter and in every person no matter what age you are we have a child inside of us that needs to be nurtured and honored and understood and not just stripped of what brings you joy at any point point. and this little girl went with her grandma getting ready for school excited about the idea of going to school and her grandma gathered enough money to buy her new outfit to go to school, which included, included a bright orange shirt. And getting to that mission school, they stripped her of it, of all her clothing, her new outfit, and put her in a uniform to be like everyone else, to be strict and regimental and God knows everything else that happened in that time. <sighs> and so my point is to check your ego Check your ego, even when this beautiful healthy ego comes in and when we're feeling so good about ourselves, to not get carried away with that, to woo, dial it down perhaps when it gets too high, when it becomes self-centered and um, we lose sight of what is the point of the goodness and to know that the spirits that we're um, inspiring have souls too. They have a spirit too. Everybody does, and to be sensitive. And does it really matter what somebody's wearing when you're inspiring growth, when you're inspiring, when they're there to eagerly listen and to grow and to be part of a new environment? Welcome them tenderly, welcome them lovingly. Um, 
in whatever they come. You know, as long as nobody's armed and harmful, you know, check your ego. Honor everyone's spirit and do so with your healthy ego in check. And carry that light with you. Be that light always. However, remember that everyone has their own little light and honor that too. Honor the tenderness and the child with everyone. Every child matters and we're all, I will say, God's children. And I use the word God and I use the word divine and I use the word uh, divine helpers and I use the word damn universe as in my damn universe, not damn universe, <laughs> but my damn universe. Um, I use these words and divine source and divine helpers. I use all of those words just as a source, um, a reference for that, that light that is our source that comes that we were born with, that we all are and to not offend anybody. Um, and we all have a word for that, that which is a feeling, that which is what we know, that which we were born with, that innocence that we all are. And that light that we forget because it gets dimmed down from living this chaotic life sometimes, but that we re are reminded of when we come to a place of harmony, when we are peaceful, when we are joyful, we are when we are in our highest, brightest, you know, vibration, when we're calibrated to that which we are and surrounded by supportive people and so that source energy, that which we are, and when that flame is ignited. And so I hope this little bit of wisdom from Wisdom Wheels on Wednesday, which I kind of hope to continue doing, uh, comes to you in that sense that you too are that. And to remember that every child matters and we are all children. And to be kind to everybody's spirit and wear your orange shirt today and remember that orange shirt and the story of and even the best maids plans can go wrong um, have an awareness of that and know that when the healthy ego gets too high and boosts into overdrive and then it's just all ego and you forget the spirits that you're inspiring then check it check it and check it and bring yourself back to healthy ego and chuck the nasty one <laughs> and honor each other and be your best self always. Take care. Ciao.